You talk about how the liver fits into the metabolic disease equation, which, you know, 85% plus people in America have some level of metabolic disease. As the liver gets overloaded and stressed, it can get inflamed. It can start to accumulate liver fat, which is 38% of the U.S. population now, mm -hmm. uh, expected to be 50%. Then the liver function comes down. It starts to clog up. Its ability to expand and shrink goes down. And you start with cholesterol, for instance. Too much cholesterol, it comes to the liver to get processed and managed. And if not enough of it can be absorbed or dealt with the liver, it just keeps floating in the blood. Mm -hmm. And as it keeps floating in the blood, you start to build up cholesterol, right. which could affect arterial walls. That's going to affect, obviously, metabolic. But also, more importantly, your question is how sugar and insulin and all yeah. of that is dealt with. So your main engine that's dealing with that and dealing with insulin resistance and dealing with all of that is shutting down its functionality. And then you start to go down the slippery slope of metabolic syndrome, which is primary cause of cardiovascular disease, not to mention type 2 diabetes and all the other things that are happening.